Hey y'all, N4H and H here, and I've got an unboxing to do. Um, and this, this is from, uh, well, I'll open this up in a minute. This is what I un want to unbox. And this is from a good friend and VIP plus Patreon team member, Wendell, K5WAN. Very nice packaging. Okay, so here we have a, it looks like maybe a programming cable. I don't know. Here's the microphone. Yesu SCU20 PC, PC connection cable. Wow, look how carefully this is packaged. Good job, Wendell, or Teresa, whoever did this. Let's see, uh, get there. just bear with me, y'all. It's a Yesu FTM 400, y'all. A gift from K5 WAN Wendell. Here's the Here's the transceiver part. And of course, this, this is the control head. And uh, it looks pretty good. So, one more thing to get out, and that's the radio itself. Bear with me a moment. Wendell's a good guy. He and his wife both fine folks. Said he had a spare FTM 400 and he, he wanted me to have it. And I don't have a dual band base station. I've got a dual band base station antenna, but not a dual band base station. And there it is. There's the radio itself. Cute, huh? Now, so what's in these other pack? This other package. These are some cables I ordered to go with the radio uh, because, as you can see, the control head and the transceiver are separate. I ordered these cables off eBay. Uh, they are made by a fellow amateur radio operator in the States here. So uh, there we go. So it's two... Two cables here. One's probably the mic extension, and then the other one is to connect the control head to the radio. Just guessing, but that's typically what you have to have. All right. Well, hey, uh, the unboxing is complete. I will uh, get this set up, and then I'll uh, share that with you as well. Okay, here I am back with the Yesu FTM 400, uh, and I've got it set up. I'll give you a little look, see you back there. So I've, I've got my FT2980 here, and I uh, want to still be able to have access to it. It puts out 80 watts on uh, two meters. It's a two meter only uh, transceiver, but it does a great job. Uh, what I did was, as you see back there, let me see if I can work the camera back there. See that switch? I can switch between radios. And I've got to get another power cable uh, because that's the power cable the FT2980, which thankfully, uh, Yesu is consistent about their power cables. Uh, so, you know, there's the FTM400 sitting there. I've got the display. Um, Wendell already had a nice little mount connected to it. And so I've got it uh, stuck here with some double stick foam. And uh, I just plugged the mic directly into it for now. I do have that extension that I showed you earlier. So it's already got a lot of frequencies programmed in it that Wendell had in it. I'm debating whether I'll just delete the ones I don't need because it's got hundreds and hundreds of repeaters in there. Um, and so a lot of them are same frequency, different town, different tones. So I'm debating on whether I'm going to leave all those in there or just, uh, you know, conform it down to the 40 or so frequencies around Atlanta area that I want 
And so uh, maybe I'll just do a factory reset and, and just do it, you know, set it up for just the local frequencies. I don't know yet. I'm going to play around with it some. But there you go. Uh, Yesu FTM 400. Thank you, Wendell K5WAN. It's all hooked up and uh, appears to be working. I've already tur turned around and listened to a few uh, repeaters here. So it uh, seems to be working. I've not had a dual band base station. I've only had the two meter rig there, but I do have a dual band antenna out there, so it was ready and waiting. I'm no here. How you doing? Oh, uh, doing good, Pete. I just hooked up a, a FTM 400 here in the house. Uh, it was a gift from a uh, fellow ham, and um, he had a spare. And I just wanted to see if I was getting into the repeater okay. This is my first uh, QSO on it. I do. I do remember that. Well, the notch on the duplexers had drifted out. They hadn't been touched in 25 or 30 years, I guess. Oh, well, that'll do it. And I replaced the repeater and replaced the duplexers, but I replaced the duplexers with ones I had tuned for two antennas two years ago and forgot about it. That caused a lot more grief, but finally got it, got it off back together. Seems to be working pretty good now. Oh, that's great, Pete. Don't you love it when you chase a head scratcher, as a friend of mine calls them, when you chase a head scratcher down? Wow, that's been, what, a couple of years, I think, in the making, hasn't it? Yeah, what was, I think the main problem was they were drifting Uh, Roger that. Well, boy, that yeah, that'll do it. But boy, it, it did manifest itself as tower noise. Well, that's just great, though, Pete. I'm glad you tracked that down. How's Miss D? She's doing well, beating cats and working in the yard. That's that's her thing. I guess that could be a whole lot worse. Oh, indeed, indeed. Well, I know you were trying to get out. I'll let you go. I appreciate you coming back to me and verifying that uh, the radio is making the machine. The antenna is only at about 25 feet out there, but uh, it's been doing okay in the past with a two meter, because uh, uh, I only had a two meter rig in here for the longest time and it's done okay up to North Georgia on the two meter side. So now I'm getting to use its uh, 70 centimeter side. So just wanted to be sure it was getting out there okay. Well, good job on that, Pete. And the repeater sounding great down here. DFQ uh, 73T. This is in 4 H and H. Okay, you don't have your handheld handy, do you? Well, yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Let's try if you don't care. Okay, in 4 H and H on the handheld. Well, I copied you, but it wasn't very good. Are you copying the repeater on it? Okay, yeah. Uh, I was sitting down, away from the window. Is that any better? It's almost DFQ. Good deal. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. And this is just with the little factory dummy load antenna. So <laughs> I'm thrilled that, that you're hearing it okay there. And I'm down in the basement, Pete. I mean, I do have a window looking out of the basement, but I'm in a bad spot, so... Uh, you know, that repeater is nearly 30 miles from me. No, 40. Well, you're sounding excellent. No problem at all. Of course, you've got the experience to know how to hold a handheld, I'm sure. That's, that's a big, big factor. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Um, well, yeah, you know, because your body 
your body is part of the antenna system on an HT. And uh, I worked on those f for years in my younger days. Well, thank you, Mr. Pete. Yeah, I mean, it was the repeat. Oh, yes. Yeah. So the repeater was full scale on my HT. Absolutely full scale. So that's great. Even with the little dummy load antenna. And obviously it's, uh, it's just um, pushing the meter on this base station all the way over. Well, take care. Have a good one there, uh, Pete. And tell Miss D high for me. We try, we're going to try to get back out and do some more hiking. Just a lot of things got in the way of it. Uh, but we're going to try to get back out there. 73, N4, H&H. &H. N4, KHQ, 73. Have a good one. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's good. First QSO on the rig. Thank you, uh, Wendell. And uh, took the little FT-65 that I've been shooting some videos about over there to the window. I got into the machine sitting here at the desk, um, and I am in a basement. It's a day basement. I can see out the window uh, if you look over there. But it is a, uh, it is a basement. So even with a little factory dummy load antenna, I was able to hit that repeater. It's about, I think it's 38 miles from here. Um, so uh, that's really, really good. It's, it's one of our go-to uh, repeaters around here. I keep it programmed. Well, look at this. Uh, let me get the camera to focus. Here we go. Pete 440. See, I, that's memory number one of this HT. Uh, it's, it's kind of our go-to when we're hiking in case we need help. Pete's usually uh, listening. So there we go. The um, successful first contact on this uh, Yesu FTM 400. It was a gift from K5WAN. Again, thank you, Wendell. Hey, and thank you guys for watching videos on my channel. Uh, it means so much, you know, clicking like, subscribing. And, of course, uh, you know, if you watch all the way to the end, then that's good, too, because YouTube will penalize me if you don't. So with that said, I want to acknowledge five of the Patreon team members that I call long haulers because without their support, you wouldn't have seen this video or hundreds of others here on the channel. I think I'm up to over 600 videos. Um, and I, I would have had to quit this three and a half uh, years ago or so had it not been for some Patreon team members who stepped in and, and uh, helped out. So if you would, I want to acknowledge five of those team members who make it possible for me to bring you these videos without having censorship or anything like that uh, because I don't have any backing from a manufacturer. All right, hey, thanks again. And 73 from N4 H&H. &H.